Welcome to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews of items, and convention panels, and other exciting things that we run into from time to time. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Jim here with Creative Play Podcast Network. Welcome back to Hashtag RPG A Day 2018. We are now on the 19th. Yesterday it was art. Today it's Describe What Music Enhances Your Game. So I gotta say I do love this question because I like using music at the game table. I mean on the podcast you guys have heard that we, we use music. But on our non-podcast games we use a lot more music. I mean, one of the, one of the features that I really do love is on Patreon. One of the folks that we support is Tabletop Audio. They have an amazing collection of ambiance music that you can just you know pop on your desktop and just enjoy in the background. You know, it's one of those of you can sit there and all of a sudden ping. There's music that immediately sets the mood, gets the group on edge. It's you know, it's. Just like when you're playing, you know, when you're listening to a movie and you hear the suspense music. You know, you can, you know, switch the channel and all of a sudden turn on that red alert klaxon that immediately will get the group tense. You know, like a classic Star Trek moment when the red alert klaxon goes off and the group immediately knows to to shields up and get to your battle stations. Or all of a sudden you'll be running, you know, some suspense, you know, party music and then all of a sudden change the channel to something slightly different. Music is definitely something that in our earlier games we used to uh, we used to make playlists where each character would make a they'd find a theme song, and that was one of the tricks that I was using to get characters more into their characters players into their characters' heads was what's your character's theme song? You know we all know those those classic you know movie characters that when you see them you just you sense their theme song you know in the background you know when you see that heroic pose they're walking up and you're just bad to the bone da, 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 da. you know s- some kind of theme song that just presents your character and what we did was we basically had every character pick you know their song then I picked an equal amount of filler songs and then we made a playlist out of it and in game whenever your theme song came up that was kind of your your you get the little plus one moment during that theme song because it's 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 your song and if you get a chance definitely check out tabletop audio because he has a ton of content that he's made for folks of just ambient music. For a lot of the, um, a lot of the uh, Star Wars and things like that, I love his Starship sounds because he has literally a soundboard that you can fill in with multiple items all at once. So you can have the the whooshing sound of the engines followed by the the, the whoosh, 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 whoosh of doors opening them and you can actually literally play with it almost you know like a sound mixer on the table which is nice as long as you just don't get too uh distracted as a game master because you know that does happen sometimes and i know there's there's a ton of great sources for audio and things out there but definitely uh my my number one recommendation is definitely check out tabletop audio because it's one of those of, and it's it's pretty much he puts it out there for everybody, which which I love. It's it's one of those of, even if you don't support him on Patreon, you can use it. And the nice thing is when he does his uh, music, it's usually ten minute tracks, so that way you know he can pop it out there and the track just keeps running on a loop, which is really cool. So that way it becomes hands free for the GM, or you can have a player take care of it for you, which is really nice. So. 
have your players pick theme songs, which is great, and bad guy theme songs is great too. I mean, if you pick some kind of just a orchestra along the lines of like Star Wars, you know the 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 impactfulness of the dun 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 and and immediately you know Vader's popping on scene because it's his theme song, you know. So that's one of those of. Definitely think of adding music to your games. I mean, I, I wish on the podcast copyright laws would let me do a little more. But if you're not recording your shows for folks, do more music. I mean, play play theme songs to let them know when they go to the Elven Forest, the twinkly. You can find copyright free music, you know, of the twinkly foresty sounds because immediately the group will get into the chirping birds and the squirrels, and then all of a sudden, if you go to dead silence their senses will will perk and they'll immediately expect, okay, shit's about to go bad, you know. We know that it went from crazy ambient sounds to all of a sudden dead silence. Or if you can uh, get get sound clips like a dragon flying, the the whoosh whoosh of the wings. Even if you use the music from uh, MMOs like, like World of Warcraft. I've got a great soundtrack from Robotech uh, Shadow, Shadow Chronicles that I use that one for a lot of our space opera stuff. So that way you can get just the twinky, cool anime sound to, to help get the groups in, into, you know, in, into the mood. Because music really does help set the mood. And besides, music can really bring your players to the, the, the right place to pull them out of their, their, out of their day and into their characters. So definitely be willing to use music at your gaming table. And, and definitely check out Tabletop Audio. If I can say anything about it, is is he's a great guy. He's he's offering great amounts of things for, for pretty much free, and you will fall in love with the t- tabletop audio when you when you play with it. If nothing else, just get in there and just play with it. You know, you will enjoy it a lot, especially since there's like laser swords and blaster sound effects. There's swords, axes, arrows, all kinds of things. He's a, he's also increased it with a few new uh, cyberpunk. And a few more Lovecraftian, Cthulhu-esque soundtracks, as well as, but my favorite is still the uh, droids from the the space one. So definitely use music for your players. Definitely use music for ambiance, even if it's just the creepy, you know, like think of Halloween, how much Halloween music adds to the atmosphere when you have just the creepy sound effects of the of the wind and the, and the, the clacking of the doors. I mean, I, I was having a conversation with somebody about Resident Evil games, the way that their sound so enhances the mood, like the, the squeaking gates and the squeaking doors, you know, it's definitely use music. It's a great tool. Every GM needs more tools in the toolbox. And if you're a player, ask your GM if you can do music, if they don't, you know, make sure it's not distracting or too high volume, but Music is a great thing, and it's a great inspiration. I mean, just look at, like, Abney Park. They're a musical band that their RPG is based on their songs, because every one of their songs is a story. So that's that's just a few things that I can say about music. I could probably go on and on, especially if I had the rest of the group here. But they're out of town this week, so uh, it's it's going to be a fun week where, where the GM is all alone. I guess I get to play a little World of, World of Warcraft, a little Warframe. A little Neverwinter on PlayStation. By the way, check out our Twitter channel. It's twitter.tv slash creative play and podcast. And we want to do some live streaming RPGs, but uh, is that something you guys are interested in? So let me know. Because I I would definitely love to do some online games on Roll20 and then put it on the uh, Twitch channel if folks are interested. So let me know. Alrighty, guys. Like always, thank you for listening. Down in the depths of the mountain, we dwarves spend our time forging powerful weapons, mining precious gems and metals, and feasting like kings. But after a day of digging for the next Arkenstone, this dwarf likes to come home to a package full of loot. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service forged specifically for RPG and tabletop gamers. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handcrafted items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. 
So are you brave enough to reward yourself with a dungeon crate? By Morden's beard, I hope so. Dungeoncrate.com. Let the adventure begin. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.